What's up YouTube? So there are a lot of people who are trying to put new flooring in their RV slide out and they don't know how to do it. And I did it myself. I know exactly what the pros and cons are to doing vinyl versus carpet. And I'm gonna show you that in this video. So when I first started tearing up the flooring in the RV slide out, I had a couple problems. There was some water damage on the, the subfloor underneath and I had a couple choices. And unfortunately I just ripped it all up and I had no clue what I was doing, so hopefully you guys are in a different stage. But I ripped it up, and there was some leakage down the walls on the sides from the roof, and so immediately I went and resealed the roof because I knew that if I put new flooring down, it would be a problem in the future. And so I had two choices. I could either do carpet, or I could do hardwood, or I could do vinyl. And I went to Home Depot, and I looked at all the different choices that I could do, and I finally chose a luxury vinyl, and it was a Walton Oak. And I will show you in the description what that looked like at Home Depot. So there were three reasons why I chose vinyl over carpet. And the number one was that it hides imperfections really easily, especially in the subfloor. If there's little rivets or dips or maybe some water damage, it hides that really easy or maybe some dirt. And number two is it cleans really easily. And number three was that for resale value, people are more likely to look at vinyl and be satisfied and happy with it versus carpet. So unfortunately, I don't have a video of me doing it because when I was in the process, I didn't even think of making a video. But I'll give you a couple tips and a couple steps that will make your life a little easier. So when I first was putting it in, the previous owner before me had put new, new vinyl in the kitchen area, but not on the slide out. And so what they did was the slide out had some carpet that was that was going over this little lip. And the previous owner put flooring right up into that lip, but since they didn't, weren't gonna take out that carpet, they didn't make it perfect right up to that edge. And the carpet was hiding that. So basically they just, they just took a cut, put it in the carpet, folded right over and you couldn't see the imperfections. But when I ripped out that carpet, now there were little gaps in between the, the previous vinyl and that lip. And so I had a choice to make. Either I was gonna replace all that vinyl that the previous owner put in, because I needed it to be perfect, or I was going to take my new vinyl on the slide out and overlap it about three inches, so that way it covers that those gaps. And I chose to overlap the gaps with my new vinyl because it was gonna take so much work and a lot of money to replace the, the pre what the previous owner did. Okay, so now I had two choices. I could either do a horizontal um, layout for the flooring, or I could go vertical. And I tried vertical, I'll show you a picture there, and it wasn't gonna pop as much as the horizontal. So first you're gonna wanna lay it out because that's gonna give you design that you would like. Lay it out, try it, snap it together, it's really easy to pop it back out. Snap it together, see if it's going to work. If it will, great, you hit it. If you didn't, try horizontal, try a different way. And I eventually tried horizontal and I laid it all out and it looked awesome. And I was able to cover up that gap. And a quick tip for you guys, if you are going to paint your RV or your slide out, make sure that you wait until the painting is done to put flooring in. That way you're not having to scrape paint off your flooring and it'll look way nicer and a lot easier. Since the luxury vinyl that I bought has a, a layer underneath it for imperfections, it auto levels, it was awesome. And I didn't have to glue the vinyl to the floor. What I did was once I laid it all out, I made sure it was snug, made sure that it was level and all the way across. And then I took my little nail gun, finish nailer, and I nailed the edges where the baseboards were gonna go. And this made it so the flooring wouldn't flex and it wouldn't move around. So you guys might be wondering how I dealt with the little lip on the slide out, as every slide out in an RV or travel trailer has the little lip where the slide out comes up over and pulls inside. And I went to Home Depot and I found the Walton Gray multi-purpose trim piece and I think I bought three or four of those for my slide out. As I was planning trying to figure out how this was gonna work I decided to put glue and it was like tough as nails glue. I was thinking of gluing the trim to the the new vinyl I had put in because I could not nail the trim piece to the vinyl because it was overlapping onto the old vinyl and it would, the slide out would not come in because it would be nailed to the floor. So I had to come up with a better idea. So I took some tough as nails glue and I nailed the trim piece all the way down. Well, bad luck, it started to come off because the tough as nails glue is not the right type of glue for the job. 
So I went to the hardware store and I was trying to figure out what other ways I could could tack this down to the final. And I decided to go with some really small screws. I think they were three quarter inch screws. I just screwed the trim piece down to the vinyl and it made a nice little lip, a nice transition piece, and you guys can do the same for yours. And for the trim, where it goes to the end of the slide out and does a 90 degree angle, I just cut two 45 degree angles and put those together and put two screws, small screws, down into the vinyl, into the trim. Another option for you guys, if you wanted to glue it for a better peace of mind, you could get a vinyl glue, and they have it at the hardware store, they have it at Home Depot. Basically, it's a two-part epoxy, and you'll mix it together, and you'll want to put a thin layer uh, on the vinyl where you're going to stick that, that trim piece. The truth of the matter is, every RV is going to be a little bit different. And as for the slide out, how it slides in, how it lifts up, if it's already lifted up and it slides straight, it's all going to depend on what RV you have. But essentially, the trim and the molding pieces are going to be the same. You're going to go to Home Depot or wherever you get your flooring and you're going to pick up a multi-purpose molding and that is what you're going to want to use for your slide out trim. Anyway, that's a wrap for me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, press the thumbs up button, smash the thumbs up button, and I will see you in future videos on how to do renovations in your RV.